So we are in the Paradise Soviet City. The idea was that around Moscow they decided to construct around 10-15 different satellite cities for usually young scientists or engineers. Zelenograd is one of the most paradise-like. Uh, it's called Zelenograd, which means like green city, and they wanted to implement here the concept of the garden city. And basically in the middle of the forest they did that and it is full of experimental architecture and even the plan of the city is unusual. You don't have streets going through the blocks of uh, housing, but you actually don't have streets at all. You have blocks and each one is named K and then three numbers. So it's not the street name, you search it by like numbers. Yeah, like in Japan. And here we are in front of the building that is called House Flute House. It's one of the longest buildings that exists in the post-Soviet world and actually probably one of the most longest in the world. It's more than half... Uh, <laughs> it's more than half a kilometer long that way. And it's pretty interesting. So um, from the other side we'll see they have all the staircases uh, being outside of the building and the roof was supposed to be used for different types of events like picnics, barbecues, music events or whatever. But suddenly the Soviet Union collapsed and rules changed and laws changed and now you can do anything on the top of it. But anyway, let's go explore it and let's go walk under it because it's on the legs. Like that. <laughs> Hi Vanya. Hi Sabrina. <laughs> Hey! So you see, it's now on the legs and it was supposed to be like that for all of the building but now they use parts for commercial enterprises like shops. Still pretty fun, it probably resembles for you Le Corbusier, especially his house in Marseille. Wow, those balconies. And the balconies have two stories. It's also like in Corbusier. Exactly. Just see the legs. Whoa. And those things on the roof, uh, they're actually exits to the roof. And as you've told this, they wanted to use the roof for all different types of events. And people could go up there through the staircase, which is on the other side of the building. Yeah. And those are those outdoor star staircases. I haven't expected that they will be just open with the glass, but it's so cool. And you can actually get to the roof from there. But I think that this part of the wall needs the mural. It's too white. Oh. <laughs> if I... You would be a proper suburban mayor. Yes. <laughs> I ha love how clean it is. I'm, I'm really so happy that they don't have any mural on the side <laughs> of the wall. And no! we also insert here now the name of the architect and when it was made because it's uh, unbelievable. Yeah. I actually, when I look at it, for me, the architecture is endless. So I, I cannot understand how people actually thought about doing the house like that. I don't know if it gives me the positive feeling or not. Because in the USSR probably it was the modern thought thinking. But nowadays you think that you need something cozier. <laughs> Yeah, you see, you don't have any name of the street here, it says Block 360, which That's means yeah. third micro district and house number 60. Yeah. So, as you know, now it's a coronavirus period and people are panicking, which means they're buying buckwheat. I don't know why, but when it's a crisis, people in Russia are always buying buckwheat, like all of it. And we decided to go to a regular shop in Zelenograd to see if they still have some and to like measure the level of panic in the city. Can we survive in this apocalypse on the small green island of Zelenograd? No. Let's check it. Let's go. I see it. <laughs> no buckwheat. <laughs> no buckwheat, only rotten. <laughs> it's so empty. I don't know how they they wanted to use these empty spaces, but it looks like hundreds and hundreds of people should walk here every day to their promenades and enjoy the Soviet paradise. And what is strange, it actually feels like Soviet paradise. I want to stay here. I want to live here now. Crazy, right? 
Yeah, can I vote for Lenin? That? That is the building for administration of a city. Completely different style, uh, much more elaborate, very interesting architecture, but still those clean lines which you love in the modernist architecture and for which you should come to Zelenograd. I know you won't, but you should. <laughs> What you call the apotheosis of madness <laughs> yeah who would have thought that you can make panel houses that beautiful and that elaborate this extraordinary and this one of those projects for typical housing for all of the soviet union so they plan to make this kind of housing all over the country uh, but unfortunately they decided on a much simpler version yeah probably this takes a lot of the thinking a lot of creativity to think how you apply all the balconies all the arches how you make the compartment comfortable as well that's why they just decided to make like square blocks it's easier and you can see the results over there so on that we'll end our quick tour of the soviet paradise of zelenograd and let's go further to Tver, the main destination of ours for today and the main rival of Moscow back in the medieval times. Let's go there.